Tonight is January the 4th, 2014, and uh, from some wonderful suggestions I got from YouTube viewers I have built, and I'll show you how this thing has worked out, and then I'm going to heat it up, and uh, here's what I found. did a little of the arithmetic. I got these at um, Lowe's, 3,500 watt, 240 volt universal elements. They're like $8.90. I got two of them. And I got them like this. I got some goop around the bottom to keep them from leaking. This, this can is empty right now, and I painted them blue. I like a little bit of cosmetic work. I'm going to fill it with water. Maybe put a little bit of soap in it to keep it from getting, you know, turning algae and make it a little bit alkaline like you do a pool. But let me show you what I got here. Um, here's here's the leads, and right now it's cold, of course. When I put this across it, my meter, can you believe it? 8.1 ohms. Even my precision resistors, these are high dollar uh, one percenters, and they read on my meter. 7.9, they'll flick up to 8 most of the time. Let's go to the other one. You know, these are 300 watt, 1% low inductance. See, that one reads 7.9. So, and then back to our, our cold resistors here. 8.1. That's okay, huh? Okay. And of course, that's at room temperature. Everything's at room temperature right now. 78 degrees. So I'm going to heat it up a little bit carefully. Not to screaming hot. I'm not going to try to pump uh, uh, 7,000 watts into it. But that's what it's rated at. Ha! <laughs> that's quite a dummy load, huh? So let's see how it turns out uh, when, it, when it heats up to maybe 150 degrees or so. And I'll uh, document that and then we'll, uh, we'll see. What I'm going to do for, oh, I don't know, maybe an hour. Well, I'm just going to watch it and see what happens. This is 10 amps flowing through it at uh, 80 volts. So that's 800 watts. I'm going to pump into it and see if the resistance changes. See how much the temperature goes up. I did fill it with hot water so that uh, we'll start out. Let's see. Right now it's 111. 110 to 111. So let's see where it, it is in some other time. It's actually 8:30 here. That clock is one of those radio control clocks that I can't ever make set to Mountain Time. Anyway, we'll see here in a in a bit. I, I had a leak. I had to take that. Yeah. Anyway, such is life. There's the dummy load. We'll see how it does in a little bit, and we'll measure the resistance. That's the bottom line. I want to know what the resistance is after it gets uh, quite hot, and uh, after 800, after it's been dissipating 800 watts for uh, a while. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. I mean, 10 minutes of constantly pumping 800 watts into it. See, we're still running at 10, 10.2 uh, amps at. Uh, 81 volts. The reason I had to use these two is because these kill a watt ones are really cool, but they don't they will not power up slowly. See, there's 80 volts on it and it's absolutely showing nothing. So they gotta come up to full voltage. Well here's the temperature. It's up to 153 degrees. So this thing is definitely heating in 10 minutes time. And I'm never gonna get it that hot. 150 degrees is man, that's hot. I mean, I can touch it, but I, I, ouch, that's, that's all as long as I can touch 150 degrees. And uh, see, it's still rising, 153. So, the magic of what, what it's all about is going to be, is this thing still 8 ohms? I think it's going to be. Actually, what surprised me is uh, the cold resistance. I don't have to... I don't think I have to hurry here. I mean, I have to, I have to lay the camera down. Darn! Lay it down and, and zero this thing. I have to press this little delta right here. 
that sets the, uh, the meter leads to zero. And now, the moment of truth. There are we still eight ohms. Isn't that fantastic? I was just absolutely certain that these heater elements would start out at a high resistance and drop as they heat it up, but they don't. That is amazing. 8.1 ohms. Very pleased. Well, that is one serious 8 ohm dummy load. And you know the inductance is going to be in the micro Henry's. I don't know why it never crossed my mind. Like I say, I thought that these heating elements would uh, would vary. But there's what I use. There's two of those parallel. There you go. Thank you, YouTube community. And uh, anybody that needs a eight ohm dummy load, well, I guess this is one way. Well, I might mention something else. Remember, long ago, Keith Kit made a thing called a cantina, and what they did, they put a little vent up here. And all they did was drill up like a number six hole for a number six screw, put a screw with a washer and then a, uh, and then a little rubber uh, washer on the, bot on the bottom, which went to the top of it. Underneath, they put a spring, a washer, and a nut so that if it gets really hot, you know, it can vent out. It won't let it splash out, but it can vent out. So I'm going to do that to it, and then, I'll, of course, I'll decorate it up a wee bit. And possibly in some uh, future videos, you might see this beast again. I love it. I'm just really impressed. I, I can't get over it. Thanks again. Hope you enjoy these things. Okay, well, here's the finished product. Uh, what I was talking about, I put the little um, vent in here. This is just a number eight screw with a spring on the other side. And so that it can vent when it gets too hot. I've got this hammered down nice. I put a uh, little rubber grommet in there. I can blast a glare. It's, see, this is just a little thermometer, pocket type thermometer. It's reading 120 something degrees still. And I just push it down in there through that little rubber grommet. Push it down there so we can keep an eye on it. Because it looks like. Uh, well, my uh, math says that you ought to be able to dissipate starting at 70 degrees to 150 degrees a kilowatt for about 16 minutes if everything that I have seen here tonight is linear. So that's actually quite a bit. Uh, continuously dissipating a kilowatt in this thing for 16 minutes is a lot of power. So anyway, that's it. Had to decorate it up a little bit. Like I say, this is I had to solder the two cans back together because it leaked the very first time. This is just decorative, but anyway, it's just, it's there, and that's what it is. So, um, I got to put a bit longer wire on it and do what I got to do, but there it is. There's the, uh, there's the finished product. Makes sense to me.